This is Modern Radio. Welcome to the Radio Presenter Masterclass. Radio communication was first used in 1895 as Morse code discovered by Guglielmo Marconi. 124 years later, with approximately 44,000 radio stations worldwide, radio has become one of the most accessible broadcast technologies in the world. In Zimbabwe, radio was introduced in 1933 for use in guiding aeroplanes and developing weather reports. We were the third African nation to use this new radio technology and this media played a significant role during the liberation struggle. There were two main radio services. The African service, which was at Harare Studios, which is now called Mbare Studios. That's where uh, most of the programs in Shona, Ndebele, and also in English, they were done, but mainly in Shona and Ndebele. And then we also had the European service, uh, which, uh, first of all, was in Manika Road, which is now Robert Mugabe Way, and then uh, it was transferred to the headquarters, the present day uh, Pocket Hill. And you also had other commercial branches, which produced it commercial radio programs that were then sent to the African service as well as uh, to the European service. That's where you had the likes of uh, Webster Shamu uh, making a mark, the likes of James Makamba, mm. the likes of Ephraim Chamba, Wellington Bufana, they had moved to those and uh, they produced some of the popular shows like the Self Show, Pick a Box, Assembly Music Generation, if you remember, The Sporting Life uh, and so forth. As the power of radio grew in independent Zimbabwe, thousands of households spent hours listening to the radio for information, education and entertainment. I'm a 90s child. I, I grew up in the 90s, um, had a lot of great experiences in the 90s. My very first memory of radio uh, was Radio 3, uh, crazy enough. Um, I remember I would listen to uh, Jill Dark and the stars, and, you know, uh, just talking about, you know, the horoscope, uh, the radio doctor would come through, and people would be calling in, so many ailments, and the doctor would help them. And I developed a love for radio. Um, I would listen to Titi Mawari, I would listen to Musiku Malo, um, I would listen to Bridget Kavanga, you know, Sweet Bang to Daicha Kanyoka. And they had a way of bringing radio to life. And you'd listen and you'd think, ah, I'm gonna have Penga, I'm gonna have Penga. You know, I remember Hitsville. I, 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 I developed a love for, for hip hop uh, because of radio. You know, Hitsville would come on and you knew, it's like six o'clock, you have to be ready. Everything because you know you weren't going to download the music on the internet and stuff like that. So you'd record and they play with another one that jingle cable tea number 20. And you're like, gosh, shoot, how am I going to delete that? So you have to find ways of being you know on point with your recordings. In 2012, the government opened up the airwaves and allowed private players to establish fully licensed commercial radio stations, thereby expanding the radio industry to a two-tier playing field of public and commercial broadcasting. So the introduction of new radio stations in Zimbabwe in 2012 was a really good thing for the Zimbabwean radio industry, but it also created a new challenge, and that was the challenge of talent. It meant that all these radio stations now needed to find a new pool of talent and create new talent. That means a lot of training, a lot of uh, talent identification and such. So they had auditions, uh, they found great talent, and then they trained them. And then they found out that with, with um, staff turnover, they had to keep continuously training and training. And then new ra more, more new radio stations were licensed with local commercial stations in 2016, the new local commercial stations. So there was a lot of a need for a feeder of talent into these stations. It also um, became quite expensive for these media owners or media companies to continuously be training. That's what necessitated the starting or the establishment of the Radio Presenter Masterclass. It is a place where we do three things. There's education, exposure, and empowerment. Education is the course. They go, they do all this coursework and such. And then um, empowerment, exposure, 
is going to these different radio stations, seeing how things are done, actually getting to do a radio show, and also traveling outside the country and finding out how they do it there. And then the last one, which is empowerment, is the real opportunity to actually get a job um, in the radio space in Zimbabwe. So those are the things that we endeavored to do with the Radio Presenter Master Plan. The nationwide search for the best 20 radio voices in Zimbabwe started with auditions held on the 4th and 5th of January 2019. Today we're going to be auditioning for radio presenting and uh, as you can see there are a lot of people here and you're about to go in. I'm feeling so nervous and so afraid but I hope God is with me in this one. I am excited. I cannot say that I'm not feeling nervous. I feel this much of anxiety but I'm hoping it's going to go well. I'm excited. The room is so full. If you're able to get past this stage, you'll move on to the next stage. Um, we're going to be judging your reading ability. Don't worry too much about making mistakes. You understand that you're probably a bit nervous. Well done. Um, I think just for your psyche there, I just needed a little bit more color so that you're not so stark and very flat. So in the next stage, they want to see personality, authority, presence. You should be able to to draw listeners and that's what they want to see, creativity and confidence. You're on radio. You're on radio. Do you show you have my weight as you know a pass or up a radio? You're a DJ. Welcome to the unique and tremendous show of the one and only lovely DJ. My name is Glassman DJ. It was tried to see one. Uh, the internet group is no longer on Twitter. Find the Twitter bar, search, click, 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 strike Masiwa, no more. Good morning, my name is Yolanda Zinyamba and I am your friend with all the bad advice. Today's show, we're going to be talking about the problems that you have with your closest friends when it comes to body odor. Now that I have auditioned, I found the process very, um, it was actually pretty well, it went pretty well actually, because the judges were very sociable, very friendly, it was a welcoming environment, it wasn't like tense at all. I was auditioning for Masterclass Radio presenting today and it was very, I had nerves, I mean I have a bit of experience on hosting shows, I host a podcast show but that's different when you're standing in front of professionals that have been doing it, that have been in the game. Being amongst all the people who had those, um, the great accents and who had the confidence according to what I was saying, it, it, it was a bit difficult for me because I was trying to calm myself down. And tell you what, I got to mix with high profile people, you know the radio Stars. Oh my goodness, I saw Tilda, I saw Napoleon, a lot of them. There's so many. It was so exciting. This is Modern Radio. Welcome to the Radio Presenter Masterclass. In search of the 20 most promising voices for radio, the Radio Presenter Masterclass attracted 622 young Zimbabweans from as far afield as Wange, Mutare, Bulawayo, Mashingo, and several other cities and towns. <laughs> I'm so nervous right now. I'm even shaking. I'm so nervous. Of course, I am but I have to I'm nervous. I'm so scared. I'm nervous. I'm so scared. 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 I
I've never done media before, so I really don't know what I should be doing. You say it is. You say it's your talent. So what do you want me to do? I was one of the judges at the uh, radio presenter masterclass. I was surprised we had over 600 people who came through, uh, who registered to audition and I was one of the judges that was able to watch them uh, and see their own idea of what a radio presentation would be like. So there are several things that we were looking for. Uh, one of the things that I thought was quite interesting was if someone is able to read. And our understanding is, has ah, Zimbabwe literacy rate, chi chi chi. So obviously the understanding was Zimbabwe has a high literacy rate and of course everyone could read. But you're looking for someone who's able to read, you know what I mean? Someone who's able to put across the meaning of what they're reading. And that's the basic step one. And you would think that it's an easy step. It wasn't that easy. I would say less than half of the people who had registered weren't able to get just past that step. They were able to read, but not in a way that shows that they could be able to be effective communicators, effective broadcasters. So that was something that I found quite interesting, that even just that simple basic step, possibly the most basic step in communicating, reading, was uh, something they found difficult. And of course, after that, we were also looking for the normal things that you look for in a radio broadcaster. Uh, we were looking for people who have that flair, you know, people who have that ability to connect with people, people who can impart information, people who have slightly crazy ideas, because you don't want someone who's just normal or someone who's boring on radio, you know what I mean? So we were looking for that, and uh, I, I was also quite impressed to see that there's plenty, plenty of talent in Zimbabwe, plenty of people who have flair in totally different directions, and for totally different groups of people and different demographics, you could already imagine, ah, you know what, Bana Mama would love this person. Can I, e I tell you what, those who go to school, they'll totally connect with this kind of person. So it was, it was quite a challenge to actually come down to a final number of people that we would say that these are the ones that we want to train. These are the ones that we feel uh, would become uh, potentially brilliant broadcasters in the future. So that was fun to look for that talent. <laughs> Culture. Right now I'm in a space where I feel like I want to use myself as a mirror to mirror basically myself and things that I'm going through in my life. Does that make sense? I'm interested to people that you are. I feel like they're still here. This is about to make you know what? No! What? No! Fine. I want to entertain. I want the fan shows. I want people to engage with me. I, I feel like I'm a very typical girl and I want to be that voice so that girls can call in and come in, the youth can, all the millennials, they can call in and they can be in nature to me and we can talk about the new issues that are going on. They I know you very well, I've seen you on social media. Yeah, and we do it really And I hear them and face to face, actually. Yeah, right. yeah. 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 Do you have the channel scripts? Yes, sir. Go number I don't All right. I'm not Zoe from Zoe and Babe, okay? I'm a And he turns down the volume. Ladies and gentlemen, from Zoe. After a rigorous judging process, 20 people were selected to be part of the pioneering class of 2019. Okay, I can try something. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, the first question is going to go to the doctors themselves. I, I, I love KVG. My name is DJ Ruru Baby, and with me I have a wonderful guest, Tilda, on the show. Hi. 478 illegal foreign currency dealers. And the claim what, you can you stop? One second. You're not, you're not doing news. Can you start from the top and read it like you're presenting the script? Okay. I've been in production for the breakfast show. That was mostly current affairs. That's not really the story. I'm here to use it during honors and theater. I'm the release of the side of the partner called Project Breakfast. So I want you to imagine, hey, I'm back. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I think I like you as a person, mm -hmm. but your style presentation didn't really get to me, so I don't know what you think I should do. I want to entertain the people. I, wanna, I don't know what I can say, but as for me, I, I feel like I'm an ongoing person. Uh, it's all about love, ladies and gentlemen out there. We're talking love today. Ah. <laughs> Hey, it's your girl Lala on the Hangover Show, and I'm hoping you all had a great weekend. So we have a caller. Hello, caller. My name is Sakila. You're live on. 
Are you related to my dad? <laughs> I think he's related to me. I don't really know what happened. But yeah, I, I am a club DJ and I do music. I would really want to deal with topics that really matter and that are really hot. So this this guy that's going on, on on the media, you know, the waves, how it is. So now you're saying, well, it's my way. I love Zimbabwe. You guys are the best. But you know, anyway, as you're moving forward, you can say, we just move the words together. Hello, Kola. How are you? Hello, sister. I'm fine, thank you. How are you I today? I just want to know if my wife is in a big breath. What do I tell her? Has she had bad breath from the time you met her? Yeah, that was basically it. <laughs> and the journey began. With eight in-class sessions over four months, four individual private assignments and four out-of-class group assignments, the students were plunged into a high-pressure study zone before they even touched the microphone. <laughs> Okay. This is Modern Radio. Welcome to the Radio Presenter Masterclass. The journey to become Zimbabwe's next big radio superstars took the students of the Radio Presenter Masterclass into spaces they had only dreamt of being in. Just when we thought uh, the Radio Presenter Masterclass experience couldn't get any better, then there was the SA trip. Oh my goodness! It was so amazing. I had the best time of my life, you know. Radio Presenter Masterclass SA Tour 2019. From the first stop, which was TMC, getting the CEO to actually take time to come, Akulumelati, as fundis, as Jaluguti, are my expectations for the industry, Uguti, for it to blossom, Uguti Gufunegan, that was amazing. So today, I've already planned on Sunday or Friday what I'm going to do. And you'll see how sales is actually just meant. You just do more of the right thing and it starts to compound them on, on each other. And then after that, you know, getting the tour, Sia, Kaya FM, 
getting also the station manager to take his time to tell us everything. I mean, they were unpacking everything about Kai FM. Uh, to the extent of now, for me, it's more than just radio, you know, because they taught us the business of everything. And a lot of the time, it takes trial and error to figure out what the content is. Right? So that's the first part of your job. Content generation, ideas generation through living. Then moving on to the SABAC experience. Oh, it was Mzansi for sure. <laughs> and it was just breathtaking going from Metro FM to all these other stations out were there. But the highlight for me was also getting the experience of being at the Mvango set. You know, getting to see James. <laughs> <laughs> and we are live here in Gauteng at the SAPC studio and we're representing Radio Presenter Masterclass. The journey is amazing, the time is amazing. What we are learning is, I, I have no words for it. So, one of the shows that has been making hits all this while for so many years and getting to see the directors at work, the producers, the whole team. Uh, for me, it was just, it was, it was amazing. <laughs> I might just shed it here. But moving on, before things get too dramatic, uh, then the experience of Josie FM. You know, it is the top radio station in South Africa. And one thing that it showed me, it's you don't need the glitz and glamour for you to actually make sense know your market and speak to that market and it will put you where you're supposed to be because the location is amongst the people it's for the people and they just produce for the people for me that was just amazing to actually get to meet the team that makes that speaks to its own people and that's what i want to do that's what drives me you know i want to have that connection that understanding with my audience yeah my name is Mpom Shombo. i'm a ceo and founder of Josie fm i would uh, like to welcome the radio masterclass uh, team uh, to Josie fm more than just the radio I, for me it's I don't know, the sky is the limit, but then the sky is not even the limit. I don't have a limit after this because the experience that I've had from theory to practical to actually getting the experience, it has just been overwhelming. And I can honestly tell you, it The last order of business for the Radio Presenter Masterclass course was a radio simulation. We brought the students into a makeshift radio setup we said to them listen you've been trained for all these months on how to be a radio presenter now show us what you've got show us what you learned demonstrate to all these people so what we did is we got a panel of uh, uh, station managers and programming managers from different radio stations around Zimbabwe we got them to sit in a room each student would come and present a 10-minute radio show and the station managers would adjudicate and mark them on certain things, confidence, articulation, etc. And then they'd mark them. So um, they got marked by the adjudicators, then they were also marked by listeners. So we got people to also listen in and vote um, via our Facebook page. So uh, we're on Facebook Live, each presenter would do, uh, would present their 10 minute radio show and then the public would vote. So those two things constituted part of the coursework, the public vote and the um, adjudicators marks as well. The vision is to raise the bar for the Zimbabwean radio industry by making it accessible to the best local talent, providing them with cutting-edge training, exposing them to the best practice, and empowering them through employment opportunities. This is Modern Radio, the radio presenter masterclass.